This section will cover spreadsheet basics. This is not a course that's meant to go in depth about how to use a spreadsheet. I'm under the assumption if you are a person who uses spreadsheets in courses for science or usually math that you have a pretty good in-depth knowledge of using the spreadsheets and the interface is basically the same. As usual, you go to create and you'll pick a spreadsheet. And it creates this blank spreadsheet, looks pretty familiar, just like it's going to look like in Excel or other spreadsheet products. As usual, name your spreadsheet. I like to be consistent, so we'll call it Practice Spreadsheet. And then he's got it named. Then you have all the same menus, your file menu, edit, where you can merge and delete cells, view, for grid lines, formulas, insert, where you can insert rows above, rows below, columns to left, columns to right, a new sheet. Unlike Excel that defaults with three basic sheets, this just comes with one, but you can just do new sheet, and if you want to move from sheet to sheet, you can do that. Also, you can do comments. We talked about this with sharing, so here's how you'd be able to insert a comment and have a conversation with someone. <clears throat> I'm going to undo that. Functions. You've got functions just like sum, average, count, max, min, more, and those of you who are familiar with using functions are probably going to be more familiar with all the different ones they have. But there's all the function lists and you can see there's many, 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 many functions. So if you're someone who needs to use spreadsheets and you're worried you're not going to have the functions, you probably know more than I do, but look at the huge list that they actually have, so you should be good. <clears throat> Named range, we'll talk about charts, a little bit about gadgets. Inserting an image, it's the same way as if you wanted for whatever reason to put a picture in, just like you put a picture in the other programs, select it open it. It'll be in whatever cell or should be. Well, I guess not. Oh, I guess it kind of is. Delete the image. And drawing script, formatting, font, size, bold, italic, underline. Data, you can short the C sheet by A to Z. Short in ranges. If you know how to do pivot tables, it's under data. You've got tools. Most people won't do script, but here's your spelling tool. So your menus are pretty much the same. When you want to enter information, you simply click in the cell and type in the information that you want. Click in the cell, type in the information. Also, <clears throat> if you didn't know, you can click on a cell and this gives you different formats of the numbers rounded, decimals, financial, currency, making it a percent, so a date, a time. So here's how you can format information into a cell. It's under this. Here's how you can format it as currency, make it $100. You can format these things as percents. So those are some of the features you might want to use even if you're not an advanced spreadsheet user about formatting numerical values into different time, different values, currency, form as a percent. If you want to move cells, sure you can click and either cut it, click the cell that you wanted to do and paste it, that works. You can also move a whole group of cells by selecting the whole group of cells, putting your cursor at the end of the selection and you see how a hand appears? It's a little tricky. When you get the hand, you click, and you can grab and drag that selection of cells to wherever you want on your sheet. We already talked about inserting rows, but just to show you again, under Insert, you can do Row Below, and it adds a row below. It's always where you select, so just make sure if you select a column like F, and you say you want to insert a column to the right, watch. Put a column in between here. So just pay attention to where you're selecting before you go inserting rows. 
a couple other basic things I want to show you that if you aren't familiar with spreadsheets and you might be thinking, well, what could I use them for? Some of these tricks might be kind of neat. One cool feature is called autofill. For example, the cell. See the little box in the corner? That's the autofill box. And when I put my cursor over it, it turns into a plus sign. If I click the plus sign, watch, it's going to automatically fill all the cells selected with the number. It looks for a pattern, and this pattern is just one. Watch what happens when I select Monday, Tuesday, but make sure you select Monday and Tuesday, and there's just one autofill box. Watch, I click and I drag down as far as I want. Patterns. Same thing with dates. Both cells if you want the pattern. If not, it'll just autofill with whichever one you choose. Patterns. So you might think of some cool ways you can use autofill. That's one neat trick. The easiest way to clear information out of a cell is select the cell or cells that you want by clicking and dragging over them and hitting delete. That's how you can get rid of information. Select the cells you want, see how they're blue, and hit delete. If you've never used formulas or functions, they can be very helpful. For example, right here are some basic ones. Sum, average, count, min, max. Sum will put the function equals sum and then there's parentheses and basically what you do is you click in the first cell you want to add and go down to the last cell you want to add and if you hit enter it will automatically sum the cells you chose. Even if I choose change a number in the cell, notice how my total is changing because it is summing when you look at the formula up here, A1 to A3, and those are these cells. Cells are named by the name of the column by the name of the row, so A1, A2, A3, A4. That's the sum feature. You also can use the average feature. So if you put in some numbers and you want to find the average of those cells, the numbers, click in the cell where you want the formula to be, the function to be, put in the cell, it's the, for the function then click in the first cell and drag through the rest of the cells. Hit enter and there's your average. So you can try those with the different functions as well. Sharing and collaboration works the same as it did in word processing. So under share you can see who you're sharing it with, you can change the access to the visibility options, what you actually want the document to be, public on the web, anyone with the link. We talked about these before. If you're collaborating with someone, you will see, and I can't do this because I'm not collaborating with someone right now, but what you'll be able to see is the different cells will, that someone is working on will have a border color, not a blue color, but it'll have a border color. And if you click your, put your cursor over it, a little tab will come up and say who the person who is actually working on that cell is. Now, if you want to make a comment, you can insert a comment so you can have a conversation with someone. Hi, what are you doing? And it says who's making the conversation according to your universal ID or your login for Google and what time the comments made. So you can have a conversation back and forth with someone. So if someone was working on this document, this would pop up on their screen. You want to get rid of it. It's very easy if you do, sorry, if you, if you just I have hi here, what are you doing? So there's my comment for that. You can also go back and, sorry, where is it? Under uh, edit, clear the comments. And so now the comment is gone that I put there. So you don't have to leave comments there. So let me show you that again. You can click on a cell and either insert a comment. So I can insert a comment here. Here is my comment. There's my comment. And notice now there's a little thing in the corner, like it's colored in. So if someone comments on one of your cells and you see a colored corner, you know there's a comment you might want to look at. To clear the comment, you can just go to edit, clear comments, and now that little corner thing is gone. So great way you can collaborate. Your kids can be in different rooms. Awesome. And remember when it comes to saving, you don't have to save. It automatically saves for you.